Hey guys, I am Psychic Medium Mara and these are Psychic World Predictions. What you don't see coming. There is a lot that came through during my meditation. I received a lot of psychic downloads, so much I've had to write some down. Everything is off the top of my head, but... Spirit was revealing a lot to me. Events that will happen. I heard there is going to be a lot of unexpected deaths. Unexpected deaths that we will start to hear about starting the end of October going into December of 2024. Out of nowhere... The news starts breaking information about this person's passing and that person's passing. We will start to hear the passing of people that have been out the limelight for years now. Out of the limelight for years. This includes athletes, R&B singers, band members. I'm picking up on a past president. We will hear about it just suddenly as this year of 2024 starts to near its ending. I am picking up on the comedian, Rosie O'Donnell. We will hear breaking news about the comedian, Rosie O'Donnell. Now, I don't see what the news is. But it will be very important, so important, the news will break it. Rosie O'Donnell. We will hear breaking news about a janitor, a custodian worker, someone that works at a popular college or school. Something about a custodian worker. A death will happen and we will hear about a investigation that happens as well. Investigating the Events that led up to this custodian, housekeeper, maintenance worker, whoever this person is. Somebody who works in, in a popular school or college. It, something unexpected happens and it's really bad. This person could be found in a closet or, or between a mat or, or something happens that looks suspicious. And it will hit the news worldwide and people will talk about it. And they'll try to figure out, okay, did something happen? Is there foul play or was this an honest accident? So that's where the investigation comes in. I feel like this will be a popular, uh, I see college, school, a building. Could be a, a popular uh, name, a, a popular business name. Okay, there's a lot of them. Um for example, this is an example. I'm not saying it's this place. Again, before I say this is an example, a uh, popular business name or brand name like uh, General Motors, using General Motors as an example, okay? Spellman. Something's going to happen to a, a maintenance, a custodian worker. It's bad. I see people will be trapped on a elevator. So we have people that we will hear about. Uh, the news will break. People are trapped on an elevator. Something happens on an elevator. There's an incident or an accident that we will hear about having to do with an elevator.
there's breaking news coming in about a news channel. Something will happen with a news anchor, someone that's been tied to the news, a journalist for many, many years. This is a journalist, a news anchor. This has something to do with, I see entertainment tonight, whatever that would mean to anyone. Something about entertainment tonight, uh, something about news has something to do with an anchor. Maybe someone suddenly gets sick. I don't want that to happen, but maybe someone gets sick, someone's pregnant. Someone can pass out. We're going to hear some breaking news about an anchor or a journalist on the news, the news that we all watch, right? There will be a special announcement that comes from a popular celebrity couple. This couple will break the news about their secret engagement. This couple has went off secretly and got engaged, possibly married. And shortly after, we will hear about this couple expecting a child for the first time, both of them. Um, I would love to know in the comment section who you feel this couple could be. It could be anyone. There's so many entertainers. So many celebrity couples, but this is a couple that tied the knot. They either got engaged secretly or just completely tied the knot. I'm seeing Paris. I'm seeing um, California, LA. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I see London. So whoever this couple is, they do travel a lot or they will. Okay. Celebrity couple uh, engaged or married and they will have a baby for the first time. Very exciting. Congratulations to them in advance. Interesting because at the same time, we will hear news about another couple who will share uh, news of their second or third child. Uh, being on the way. So there's a couple that is already together and they suddenly break breaking news that, hey, we are on our second or third child, okay? <laughs> so this is interesting. Um, yeah, I also see now that Rihanna, allegedly, but I do see it, <laughs> Rihanna and uh, her special partner, uh, I know him as ASAP Rocky, <laughs> no disrespect, no harm meant, Mr. ASAP Rocky and the beautiful Rihanna and their already beautiful family. I feel, in my opinion, allegedly they will, uh, there's a new addition that will be added on to their growing, I mean, beautiful growing family, okay? Um, I see a new addition, um, addition, um, I feel like there's a girl coming. This could be a secret wish of hers. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I know that's easy to say after having two boys, right? I get it. But this could be something she wants. A little girl or ASAP might, they both might want a girl, but I do see a beautiful little girl, bright skinned girl. She's going to be bright. <laughs> She's going to be light. I think she might end up being lighter than Riri, Rihanna. <laughs> She's going to be a little light skinned thing. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, but there's nothing wrong with that. Skin complexion, skin tone does not matter. It should never matter. But I just feel like this will be surprisingly a brighter skin child, brighter than her. <laughs> and I feel like it will be uh, a girl and a new addition to their family. So yes, I'm saying that Rihanna will end up breaking news that she's pregnant, expecting her third child with ASAP Rocky. Allegedly.
There is a interruption coming in from spirit right now. I had to listen. That's why I paused. I want to take this all in. It's very important for you to hear. Okay. Some people may disagree, but this is coming from spirit. And I need to say it. I hear be a little more mindful of the energy we put out towards Sean Combs because he has children and they are innocent. I'm also being told People that are coming forward now, not the old ones, the new ones, and people that are planning on coming forward after, be very careful and to make sure you can prove everything that you accuse Mr. Combs of. Because some of these people are going to end up getting in a lot of trouble with the law and there could be fines coming as well. Not all, but some. There could be, and I feel there is, real victims out there. But at what point do we weigh the real from the fake? This group is real. This group is fake. How do you do that? But spirit is sending a warning. <laughs> yeah, those children, be mindful of the joking. All of it. You could do what you want to do. I'm just the messenger. Okay, I am just the messenger. But I assure you, I was just interrupted. Um... Wow, shocking to me, you know. In other words, just be careful. <laughs> Think about the kids and some of them are adults, young adults, whatever. And they see things and they hear things. They're innocent is what I hear. All of his kids are. And they hurt too. Yeah, they hurt too. Yeah, they do. This is a shock for, for some of them as well. And... It's something new that all of them will have to get used to, okay? The truth is we are dealing with a millionaire. And there's some things that I feel like he did do in my opinion. However, also in my opinion, being realistic about the situation and looking at the background and the bigger picture of him being a famous millionaire, it really is easy for anyone, <laughs> even myself, to hire a lawyer and make a false accusations in order to <laughs> try to come up on some money. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I could use some dental work. <laughs> I, hey, I can use some dental work. I'm just going to be straight out with you. There's no reason to hide it or lie. Mara can use a little dental work, right? Hey, my own, my own thing, right? Something I need to deal with on my own. Um, and I would never, ever in my whole entire life do that to anyone. <laughs> but I want you to kind of look at the bigger picture. There are real victims, but there are people who are on this sudden money chase, this money grab. And I just need a little dental work, right? These other people, who, who knows what's going on with them? You know, they may not have been affected by anything uh, at, at any of Diddy's parties. Nothing may not have happened to them at all. But because he's filthy rich, 
and people are like, man, I need to get some of that before they really take them down. And, ah, oh, man, I don't trying to get me about 10, 20, 30 grand, man, about two, three million. And Kat Cassie, man, she really, man, she got a lot. See, see, this is what spirit is saying. This is not a game right here. This is serious. This is real. This is not a game. If you were really affected by him or any of his friends or whatever their shenanigans were, if you are affected by that, like seriously, I get it. Do what you have to do. But if you're lying and making it up because you're, you're a part of this and I'm going to say it, people may disagree. It's starting to seem like a little money scheme. It's like a money scheme all of a sudden, right? Some type of money scheme. This is a money grab. This is a come up for, for people. Again, some people were really hurt. Some people were not. And, and, and I'm telling you guys straight from spirit, you, you come on now. Come on. You're smarter than that. <laughs> There's a lot of people coming forward. There's a lot of people coming forward. Mm-hmm. And some of these ages are getting younger and younger and younger. And that's interesting. You can come up with any story. You can say anything you want. It has to be proven. And spirit warns that be careful. Yeah. Wow. All together, this is a really sad situation with Diddy. Okay, I'm going to get off of that, but that was an interruption. Yeah. It's like a warning or a message for the collective. If you're lying, his lawyer, our lawyers will find out. They are going to dig your background up inside out and then some. They're going to find out if you, you have a habit, if you're in need of money. Is there something, has there been a, a life change, a tragedy to where you may need money? They're going to dig. <laughs> they are going to dig because this is serious. This is someone's life. Again, I feel there's some things he may have done that were not right. I'm saying it in my opinion, but I, I have to be honest and I have to be fair. I don't think every single, listen, every single last person that is coughing up these accusations towards this man, I do not believe them. Not all of them. Some, but not all. You take that how you want but you better back it up. <sighs> Let's continue. We will hear breaking news about a rapper's sudden death. This is a rap star and a rap artist, a rapper, someone who flows, someone, I don't know, who's into poetry, a writer. There's something about a sudden death of a rap star, an entertainer. Male energy could be female, but I pick up heavy male energy. It's going to be a sudden passing. There's going to be some news about Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Interesting that I pick up this older energy. I know a lot of you are familiar with Blue's Clues. Um, wow, a show that has been out many, many years. It's been out back in the days, as I like to say it. Uh, the final episode, yeah, I know about it too, right? The final episode was in the early 2000s, I believe. Ah. 2005, 2006, or 7. Anyways, there's going to be some breaking news coming up about Blue's Clues. This could have something to do with uh, the person who created it, uh, the creators of Blue's Clues, uh, an actor or actress, anyone who's ever been a part of Blue's Clues, there's news to come, okay?
I hear Motown Phillies back again, doing a little East Coast swing. Motown Phillies back again, doing a little East Coast swing. That's what I hear. This tells me we will hear news about the R&B group Boys to Men. There's breaking news coming about this group Boys to Men. My cousin who has passed on a uh, little more than a few years ago. Um, I remember my aunt was saying, Mara, Mara. Uh, we called him Lily. Lily is going to the Boys to Men concert. And I jumped up and I said, oh, yeah, <laughs> I want to go. I want to go. And it was too late. They were sold out and I was so angry. I, I just, I mean, I didn't tell them all this. It's a secret. But I, I, I was mumbling under my breath. And I said, oh, man, I want I want to go with, with Cousin Lily. And I love me some concerts and I love Boys to Men. And um, I tried to figure it out. And, and I eat, there was like a way I could buy tickets. But um, I didn't want to do it that way. It's really bad because you have scouters. Let me know in the comment section what you know about those ticket scouters. I know. I know. Yep. Ticket scouters everywhere. They call, I think that's what, yes, yeah, scouters or something like that. Ticket scouters. And that, that wasn't the right way to do it. And I, I declined that offer because I did know a few people and I was like, no. No, no, we don't want to do things the wrong way. We want to do them the right way. So that was out because they were sold out. <laughs> and um, so that wasn't going to help. And um, long story short, um, again, Lily had passed away more than a few years ago. And I, I was so angry. I said, man, I really wanted to go. And I was so late, you guys. And, and I think I thought about it some time after. And I said to myself, you know what? If I had a went to that concert with my cousin Lily, um, me and him could have bonded a lot more. Um, I love Lily, and I think about him on and off throughout the years. And I think back and I said, man, I wish I really could have went to that concert because I didn't know he was in the concerts and I didn't know he liked boys to men. But and, and that was my own blood cousin. I didn't even know it. And I found out and I said, man, we I wish I could have went to that concert many, many years ago and, and bonded with him, um, get to know him a little bit better. And he get to know me a little bit better. Um, sorry. Um emotions excuse me but he is loved yeah he is he's a church going young man <laughs> church going <laughs> very nice young man and, and he died young and, and it was sudden I wish somebody would tell me I don't know pain. I wish they would because I would have a lot to say to you. I live pain. I know it all too well. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Moving on. There is a name coming through right now. This is a heavy set man that has passed on, but he is pushing through. The name is for someone who will watch this video, whether you're watching it now at this time or whether you come sometime after. Here is your message from this heavy set man um, that is coming through. He says, Hey, it's J Dub. 
I want you to know I'm okay. Let everyone know I am okay. A message from J-Dub. J-Dub is okay. Now, I hear him say J-Dub, keeping an open mind for you. It could be a name that sounds similar or very close. And so you need to know this. A message from J-Dub. He is okay. We are going to hear some breaking news about the Raiders. This is so random, right? The Raiders, the team, the Raiders. So we will hear news about a, a Raiders uh, member. Uh, something about the Raiders. Breaking news is to come about one of the Raiders. <laughs> There's another interruption. Charlie. I hear the name Charlie. So either you watching your name is Charlie. You know a Charlie. Charlie says he's okay. Or Charlie, I am okay. Something about Charlie. There's going to be some breaking news. It's coming through again. Sorry about the repeat energy. There's something about an older 90s R&B male group. An older, you know, as in, you know, the length of time, the 90s, which is years and years ago, of course. There's breaking news coming about in a 90s R&B group, a famous, popular uh 90s R&B group, someone that we could turn and listen to right now, this very moment. Male Energy, a male R&B group from the 90s. There's breaking news to come. It's coming in again. First, they specifically says boys to men, and now they're just sending another general message that it's going to be also breaking news about uh, a male group from the 90s, Okay. <laughs> I hear specifically, <laughs> spirit is working on me. First, uh, there's this energy of the name Charlie coming through. Tell Charlie I'm okay. I am Charlie, I'm okay. And now spirit is going to the R&B singer, Charlie. Charlie, na last name Wilson. Hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie. Last name Wilson. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, <laughs> invite you to my house. Here is my number. Girl, you can call me. <laughs> I don't forget it, baby. The name is Charlie. Cause I was wondering if I could take Hey, woo, I'm starting to feel it. That Charlie, the R&B singer, I love his voice, um, but I hear that that tune, that tone, that song, Charlie Wilson. There is breaking news coming in about the R&B singer, Charlie, Charlie Wilson. Um, God bless him and his family, by the way, but uh, Spirit says there is breaking news to come about Mr. Charlie Wilson, Okay. About to get me started. I start my legs started slowly shaking. I was about to get up and everything. I'm you know <laughs> I was about to get up and start hey, cause I was wondering if I could take it out and show you a hey, invite you to but I, first name is Charlie, last name is Wilson. I was wondering hey <laughs> all right, that's enough messing the song. He's not gonna appreciate that, first of all. You don't be messing my song up, lady. <laughs> that's what we not gonna do okay let's let's move on what else is coming through <laughs> a 
Unfortunately, I see a plane crash. This can also be a helicopter and it looks like there will be a survivor, a survivor or two, and maybe it's an emergency landing. Uh, something happens. Um, it could be with the person flying the helicopter or plane. Something about a, a big emergency, emergency landing. Something bad is going to happen causing this landing or crash. A miracle happens because there's a survivor or a survivor's. I'm sorry to relay these bad messages, but uh, this is what spirit is using me for, to send you these warnings. Uh, I don't want this to happen. The spirit doesn't, God doesn't want this to happen. Neither does the universe. But unfortunately, I, I feel like we are living in hell. I went back and forth with someone. Um, that I know and they're like no no when you die and, and you this that your sins then you go to hell you get judged and it, you get judged and then you go to hell and I'm like well you know what we are living in hell right now not gonna keep <laughs> going back and forth with you about it okay and I'll see you later that's what I had to tell they ass <laughs> and they because they everyone thinks I'm silly they start laughing at me <laughs> We live in hell, right? This is hell. The killings, the shootings, the rapes, all of it. The drugs, uh, the tragedies, the unstoppable, the unthinkable happens to the ones we love the most, to our neighbors. Just random things start to happen. We live in hell right now. We are living in the worst times. We have been. When you die and pass away, you are free. Your soul is free to wander wherever it wants to wander. There's always going to be a light that follows you, though. There's always going to be loved ones that you may recognize. They're going to be right there waiting for you. <laughs> they know you're going to pass before you do. <laughs> I don't mean to scare anybody, but I'm just saying. We will hear about another sudden passing. I feel like this is a woman this time. Um, unexpectedly, self-harm, self in my opinion. Um, somebody who has been in the limelight a very long time. This is something about someone being found near or around or in overflowing water whether it's a bathtub or a jacuzzi or a pool. There's something about an older celebrity woman that's been around a very long time being found in her bathtub. That's what I feel. Looks like natural causes. We could hear news about Ozzy Osbourne's son. Is his name Jack? Jack Osbourne? He could be expecting a child. There's Somebody's pregnant or they're going to end up pregnant. It has something to do with the Osbournes. The, the Osbournes. Sharon, Jack, Ozzy. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> no, they don't know who I am. They're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but seriously, um, there's a pregnancy surrounding, whether it's the daughter, the son, there's a pregnancy somewhere within them, their family, okay? A baby's on the way. We're going to hear a lot about a lot of celebrity babies, okay? The Obamas, uh, one of their girls, allegedly, one of the o Obamas' uh, daughters will learn that they are expecting a child, okay? There's there's children coming from presidents, Recent presidents, past presidents, children all around the industry. <laughs> um, we are going to hear about another president's daughter, um, son, whatever, uh, but mainly daughter. Specifically, I pick up the Obama's daughters. One of them um, will learn that they are pregnant and that news will come out. It will be very exciting. The Obamas will be grand, grannies, grandparents. <laughs> I'm 
I approve this message. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's see what else is coming through. I see that one of the Kardashians is going to learn that they are expecting. I have been picking this energy up all throughout the summer. It stopped, it slowed down, but it's coming in again. Some, one of those Kardashian women will find out they are expecting. One of the sisters. Who is it going to be this time? <laughs> Very exciting, but it's definitely going to happen. I, I feel it's going to happen. I see it's going to happen. Someone, one of the Kardashians is pregnant. They're going to find out they're pregnant. They're going to tell us about it, or we're going to find out. They're, sh they're showing me that uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift will also learn that she is expecting. So we have Taylor Swift that will learn that she's pregnant. One of the Kardashian women will learn that they're pregnant. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Rihanna will learn she's pregnant. And there's going to be a lot of news about pregnancies coming, okay? They're also showing me uh, Megan, Megan Good. Yeah, the beautiful actress, Megan Good. She's going to learn that she's pregnant, allegedly. I'm sorry to break this news. Um, I cannot see who it is. I see a shadow. But we will hear news about a billionaire having a heart attack. I don't know who. I do not want this to happen. This is not what I want. I want, I know, no, no, we don't want it. I don't want this to happen to nobody. <laughs> I don't like it. It's very, you know, but things happen and they're just saying a billionaire will end up having a heart condition, a, a, a heart attack, and this is not good. It will be breaking news. Something is going to happen in India. Something really, really big and negative and bad. Sorry about all the bad news. I keep apologizing. Uh, I feel terrible, as you can see, because I keep repeating myself, right? Breaking news will happen in India. Um, it, it's going to be a tragedy. It could be an accident. It could be the tragedy could happen in the form of an accident in India. Something bad happens in India. We are going to hear breaking news about a tragedy that happens at a park. Something bad happens at a park. Somebody will commit a crime at a park. And this is not good. This is what I have. Thank you for listening. Thank you for going along with me. Remember, I don't want these bad things to happen, but take it as a warning. And with that being said... Say it with me if you can remember. You've been warned.